This is so weird. I'm on my own, I feel like I'm in a zombie movie. This is literally just me in here, row after row, every single one empty in here. It's hard to imagine it once having life in, isn't it? Welcome back to another episode of the Death of the High Street. Now we're in Newcastle and there's been this person that's commented on so many of my videos. They comment all the time saying, you need to get up to Newcastle and you need to go to this specific shopping centre, which apparently is totally abandoned. It's literally empty, they keep saying, but it's not. You can go in, it's still open. Just all the shops have completely shut down. So let's head there first, go see what it's like, and then we'll head around the rest of the city. Right, let's get to it. I think it's down here. It's called Eldon Gardens. And to the person that keeps commenting, this video is for you. You know who you are. Up there it says Eldon Garden, inspirational shopping. I'm excited to see just how inspirational it is. Let's get inside. Wow, this is the worst I've ever seen. Literally every single unit. I've not come across one. Actually, there's a nail salon there that's open. The rest completely empty. Again, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. A beauty salon there, the rest completely empty. This is so weird. This is literally just me in here, row after row, every single one empty. Two floors up as well here, wow. Food court down there. No one there. So a lot of them are saying we've moved to Eldon Square. So I'll have to go check out Eldon Square as well, because maybe that's where all these are moving. But this is so weird. It's literally just me. No one else in here. Interesting. So on this one here, the library, it says they were asked to move. So I wonder if people in this place are being asked to move on. Seems strange. <laughs> it's just me, Crombie, there. I'm on my own, I feel like I'm in a zombie movie. What the heck? So yeah, I think we've got two levels here, it's saying. Every single one, apart from them, the nail salon and something else, empty in here. Now, there's a bit more to explore around here. I think this leads on to Eldon Square. So we'll have a look down there, see if that's where everything's moved and maybe there's some stuff still open there, but what the heck? Nice roof. Not closed, just literally empty. This is bonkers. Richard Sinton Jewelers. All them over there. Imagine this was once the hub of shopping. So, so busy this place will have once been. Sign of the times. Look at that. A lonely, sad coffee machine. Bet it's not been used in ages. Right, and as I thought, so it's connected. You walk down from Eldon Garden to Eldon Square, and this feels a lot busier. Now there is a big one there that's empty, but I mean, this feels like there's a bit of life in it at least. That place was crazy in there. Wow, I wonder if that's what they've done. Like the place in Slough as well, where they're just like, that's not getting any footfall. Move them all in here. And then they can, I don't know, turn that area into flats or somewhere else. But that was nuts. That was the craziest shopping mall I've ever been to. Shopping centre, should I say, I've ever been to. Yeah, so in this area, this Eldon Square, this feels busy, a couple of units to let, but yeah, nothing bad in this bit really, just the usual suspects. John Lewis is still going, that's good to see. 
Let's go down and see what's on the bottom floor. Right, yeah, Waitrose was down here on the bottom floor. Our store is now closed. Damn, that was crazy in there. Thank you, mate, for the recommendation to go check that out. I can see why you wanted me to visit it now because that is on a next level. I wonder when that was built. Let me just check when Eldon Gardens was built. And apart from though, apart from that nail salon, and I think there was one other thing in there, completely empty. So yeah, Eldon Gardens was built in 1989. And what was that quote that I read as I was going in? Did it say inspirational shopping? I think they might have to get rid of that. But wow, oh my word, that was, that really was something else walking through there. So, so surreal. And I think I am right, they must just be moving everyone down into that other centre down there, Eldon Square, to fill space. But pff, yeah, I've got a feeling that might be, unless someone can get in touch and say there's one worse than that, the most empty shopping centre in the UK. Challenge on, someone let me know, is the one worse than Eldon Gardens in Newcastle? Right, let's go check out the rest of the city. See if it's in a, a better condition than that. Didn't have to go far as well. This restaurant, just next to where I've been in, the real Greek Newcastle is now permanently closed. Big restaurant that as well. That's Eldon Gardens there on the left, the one that's completely empty. And I think that's Eldon Square on that side where there was actually stuff going on in there. It felt like your standard kind of Arndale Centre in Manchester. Can't remember what the name of the one in Leeds is, but that sort of thing. But yeah, wow. Right, and uh, it doesn't take long to see some more stuff that's boarded up or kind of boarded up. Milligan's. Family Baker since 1946. No more. And then some giant building there with some very makeshift boarding up, bit of blue tape. Let me know if you know Newcastle, if you're from here, how much has it changed recently? So far, so good though. Not much boarded up or shut down at all. And in comparison to inside there, I mean, yeah, it's looking amazing, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Is that Premier Inn that's down? Premier Inn, maybe? I don't know. Might just be the side of it. Looks like we're in Chinatown here. Yeah, my bet is on these ones, with these ones with the shutters down. They'll just all be opening up later on. It's a point to make though, isn't it? Because you go around any place and when you see the units or when you see the shops or the buildings with the shutters down, it looks unappealing. But really, that's when those businesses thrive in the evening. They don't need to be open during the day, but then it just adds to that aesthetic of the daytime high street looking even more grim. Now this one on the end here though, yeah, that one's got to be shut down, hasn't it? Yeah, that there's big empty corner unit there. But going up here, lovely bit of wallage. Let's see what this wall's about. Apparently, Newcastle was a walled city. I had no idea. Check that out. Mega. Big unit there as well. What does it say? Oh, Newcastle Furniture Company. Massive that. Another one there to let. Might be open, I don't know. Yeah, will open later. What's that? Probably shut down. Look at this. A cat cafe. That's pretty sweet. Oh, hello you. Oh, look at you. How many do you have here? How many cats? Seven, 17 boys. I remembered when I was in there that I'm slightly allergic to cats, so that might not have been the best idea. But yeah, who would have thought it? The wandering turnip in a cat cafe. Great fun. And that is cool, I love seeing that. A new idea in a space, doing something completely different, bringing people to it. Yeah. What we should do is we should turn all retail spaces into cat cafes. No, so I was just saying about this bit under here, I feel really sad for John Dobson. This is John Dobson Street, and back in the day, uh, before they did the development, when they did the motorway and stuff in the 60s, it was one of the grandest streets in Newcastle. Oh, really? Yeah, but they pretty much knocked it down, and it is under a flyover now. Really? All Georgian buildings have gone. So who, who's John Dobson then? People who was involved in 
building the big grand Georgian bits in Newcastle. Oh really? So going way back, right, yeah, yeah. So we're just going to take a wander down here to what used to be like a shopping arcade. And it just feels like, well this whole bit here just feels like no one's been in it for ages. Let's have a look. So what's your name again, mate? John. John, yeah. So John's just taking me on a little bit, whoa. So this bit here is where, what are you saying, like used to be nightclubs and used stuff? Used to be nightclubs, little shops and stuff like that. So you can see wow. like it's, had, it's got the arcade roof. Yeah. I it's mean, just absolutely deserted now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any of it. And this is just, as you can see, spitting dabs just off the high street. Yeah, yeah, it's so amazing. close. Like it literally took us, what, a few minutes to walk here. Wow. It's funny, isn't it? Because it seems like quite concentrated areas. Like I said, that, go that, that shopping centre was really concentrated. And then where I've walked around the centre so far is fine. And then this bit again here, super concentrated. I mean, it is crazy in here, but just look at all that. It's hard to imagine it once having life in, isn't it? Yeah, all the time when I was 17, so that's going back a few years ago. Oh, really? What? So that was the nightclub? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, what year do you reckon that was when that was open? I'm sure my age now, but um, late 90s. It was. Late 90s? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Bang in. Cool. I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that whole bit we've walked through there, completely empty. But I think back in the day when we first did this, like Elton Garden would be in the new like little yeah, shop yeah. arcade, you know, the new cool quirky view. place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be great, wouldn't it? Like, if you could just that, because it's so close. And down there as well, looks like there'd have been a shop there. Yeah, bloody. It's down it was what? Snooker hall. Oh, snooker hall. Wow. Oh yeah, Central Snooker Club up there. What an absolute legend that guy was. He's just had to get back to work, but yeah, he brought me here to this crazy bit, which is just now devoid of life, like that other bit we were in before, that shopping centre. They're actually open, they just need the windows cleaned. So I'm just gonna pause this video to plug two things. So the other day I recorded an episode of Mulvey's podcast, the Not Bothered podcast, it was ace. We sat down, we chatted YouTube, we chatted life. It was really, really good. I'm gonna link that below, so go give him a follow. And yeah, the episode's coming out tomorrow. And the second thing, we all know retail's dead. It's fascinating exploring places, especially like that centre I've been to today. But I also want to celebrate the great things that are still being made in Britain. So my series, Made in Britain, dropped last week and episode one's out, which was with a fine furniture maker in Wensleydale. So yeah, after you've watched this video, I'll link it at the end. Go watch that one. Fills you with positivity about the great things that are still happening in Britain. And another one here. Empty, empty. So yeah, all that way we've just been, it's just a two minute walk from the high street, literally back on the main pedestrianized bit now. So let's go see what the state of that's like. One to let there, another one there. But this is still slightly off. Let's get on the main pedestrian bit. See how that's doing. And look at that, life. Super busy, shops open. Yeah, so far on this main pedestrian bit, not a single shop that I've seen empty yet. It's massive as well. Really, really busy. That's good to see. Yeah, so my theory is kind of correct there. You've got the main bit where everything is nice and open and they've condensed those empty areas where the stuff boarded up and units well a lot of them places they're not even to let are they in that Elden gardens they're not to let and that place i've just been before they're not to let they're just completely abandoned really but yeah they've condensed it big thing here empty don't know what this is let's try and find out oh it was a frankie and benny's frankie and benny's given the unprecedented covid19 situation taking the decision to temporarily close the restaurant. Temporarily closed during the COVID restrictions and has not opened back up, look at that. 
Something else here, you can read up there, just faintly says health. I wonder if that was a uh, gym, maybe at some point. Another little strip full of shops though here. Frankie and Tony's looks busy. Nice travel agents open there, fighting back against the onlines. And another one there as well, another travel agents. Who goes to travel agents? So yeah, again, all that stuff there. Busy, open, show you. Look at that. That is a busy high street. No other way of saying it. Come just off it though, what do you get? Space to let. Got a big one down at the bottom that does look like it's to let. And then just across the way as well. Another one there as well. That looks, let's have a look in the window, what does it say? Notice of application under the Gambling Act. So at the moment, if you see an empty unit like that and you see a little sign in the window, go up and read it. I bet 70% of the time it says that. Notice for a gambling application. It's gonna be a bookies. Look here, it looks like the building, an entire new complex kind of thing there. So what was this here? Oh, this was your post office. Yeah, your post office is gone. So I think Newcastle is actually doing a really good job of condensing together those areas that are all empty, that are boarded up, and pushing everybody towards the streets that are busy, that main pedestrian bit where there's nothing to let really. And I think that's what places have to do really, is then figuring out what you're gonna do with those spaces that are just completely empty. Something on the end there. Yeah, that looks closed down. Walking down this bit though with the absolutely class buildings. Look at them. Stunning. More awesome architecture. Oh, the market, let's have a look in the market. Market seems like it's doing well. All these cool stores. Wine shop, your clothes shop, your traditional shoe repair and key cutting, your cheese shop. There is a few units there in the centre that are, look like they're not in use. But overall, that's buzzing. Buzzing market, busy. That's what we want to see. I like that. Check out that roof on it as well. That's mega. Sausages. <laughs> a man there offering me his sausage. Really good in the market there. Great atmosphere in there it seems. And you come outside and look what you got. Wilco. Not unique at all. Then across the way there, one to let. Another one here to let. Wilco from the front there, looking pretty sad. Such a big building as well. Massive Vietnamese cafe here that looks like it's shut down. And there we go. The shop that's doing well. K Manned Outdoors. Your genuine military surplus camping outdoor equipment. So I've been thinking about this recently and I'll put it to you as well. Bit of food for thought, like, we obviously know a lot of the reasons for the decline of the high street. Online shopping, high business rates, high rent, high insurance, paying staff costs. But just imagine all those things were super low and there was a unit available that you could take on really cheap and you've got this product that you want to sell. Even then, even then with all them things being sort of solved a little bit, would you still do it? Would you still open a shop in this day and age? Or would you, like a lot of businesses do and do very successfully, just do it online? So that's what you're fighting against really, isn't it? Building down here, all of these down here, look at this. They all look closed and they've just got pictures on them of what the old shops were, look at that. There we go. That's that bit back in the day. Yeah, again, so coming off the high street, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in a row there, all empty. You can see there, building like that. Back in the day, there's a fella wandering past it. I wander past it now and it's closed. 
and then coming up from that big ball little one there the evening chronicle just probably the old newspaper office this is cool though look at that the black gate built between 1247 and 1250 during the reign of king henry the third let's go look at the castle though i'm such a spud i was like i didn't know newcastle had a castle and then i was like oh new castle it's literally got it in its name but yeah cool i did not know that so we've looked at the retail seen the state of that and i thought let's go celebrate let's look at the castle in newcastle have a little look at this finish here lovely bit of chest there some more chest on show here we go into the castle oh cool A lot of steps. Oh, there we go. The archers keeping watch of the people coming on the train. I feel like this is a nice spot though to finish the video today up here at the castle which would have once been the strongest point of this city. Now, I've explored retail today and there's a lot of areas that are in really bad decline and I wonder what's happening with them. If anyone knows, get in touch. Like with the Eldon Garden shopping complex, what's going on there? And that other bit, that underground bit, which that, like that fellow said that I'm there, he said he used to go clubbing there and now just all, all left to decay but a lot of the city looked great. A lot of it looked really, really busy. Aesthetically, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Down there, you got the River Tyne. And up there, the great British flag flying, which, well, that flag's seen better days, hasn't it? 